What is good, everybody? What is good? What is good? I'm going to take a ride, go get my um, vegetarian uh, black bean burger wraps. So they're really good. Believe me, they're really good. Um, so I'm going to go get that. And I decided to... Uh, there's something going on. There's a bunch of cars parked over here. Uh, so I'm going to do that and go get... Uh, and, and decided to you know have you all come with me, go for this ride, and we'll talk about some stuff. Talk about some stuff. Get it done. It's time to wash my hat. It's my kind of just wearing around a house hat. So, all right. So, um, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. So, this is going to be a question and answer session, and I'm going to make two videos today. I'm going to break them up, obviously, but this is the free, the first one. Question and answer session, right? And uh, some of them are really, really brief. Right? I really kind of thought about. It. There's not much I can say to this, so I just kind of, kind of go through this. This might be the longer one, and then, we'll, then I'll do another video, like I said after this. But that'll be for another time. Don't worry about that. <laughs> so uh, first, qu first question, and these are some quick questions, right? So um, a lady says, and I think this was in response to the vetting. I think this, I think this was in response to the vetting. I took a screenshot, but I didn't. I don't know the context. Getting getting a lot of engagement, which I really really appreciate. Um, so I think it was about um, uh, respect or appreciation, right? Uh, I think I think this was a re re context with that. I think it was. Respect or appreciation? Would a man rather have respect? Oh, no, this was the needs one. This is what benefiting a man's needs. Or how does a man, you know, need fit into your life? Or however I worded it, it was the needs one. So, uh, you know, what does a man want? Respect or appreciation? It was a question. And um, I think that's a good question. And I think that it really comes down to respect. I think the most important thing that a woman should have for a man is respect. And uh, you know you got to respect his leadership, respect his his uh, his command presence, his masculinity, his ability to make decisions, his advice. You got to respect all that. And if you don't respect any of those things, then I don't I don't you know I don't know what comes after that. So you can you, you can be glad that he's appreciation of him you know listening to you, stepping up being a father. But these are all things that he should be doing in the first place. Um, and so you just got to respect. You guys got to respect his, you got to respect his, 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 you know, you respect him as a, as a man, as an individual and respect him in, in his, um, authority, you know, in his presence in life. Come, I, I'm going to quote Kevin Samuels again. He said that uh, there is a low level contempt amongst black women for black men. And I get that. I get a little sense of that in the comments sometimes, right? Some of these, some of the comments are like, you know, there's not a good, good black men. Black men don't do this. They don't know how to be leaders. Yada yada yada, right? So th there's there's no respect there, right? If you don't respect what the man's doing, you're not going to appreciate him. So when it comes down to everything, you gotta you gotta have respect for your man. And yes, I I, I am saying that men ought to do things to be respected. So uh, in in which would a man rather have? I would I would I would say it's respect. As long as he's doing things to be respected, respect him. Respect him in his place, respect his authority, respect his 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 frame of thinking, respect his opinion, respect his advice. Uh, you know, and if that's a problem for you, then then this then that's then that's a thing, you know. And you know, this goes for for any man. I'm not, you know, if there's anybody else of another culture watching this, you you gotta respect your man, right? But this is but this is a problem in particular in the black community. It's a problem. Right. So you got to respect that. So I would say that. Um, there's a the next question I'm not really sure about. I did send a, the, the author an email, uh, a message saying to email me about the about a 50 year old professional guy. A 50 year old professional guy, guys, <laughs> 50 year old professional guys. And, you know, what advice, encouragement, focus would I give them? And I wasn't sure about that because if the guy's professional, you know, we're married, no, uh, not married, no kids. The guy's professional. By professional, I'm assuming he has some type of career, not just a job, but a career. It's a career. Uh, he's some off well to do financially. He's got stuff going on. I mean, I would just tell him I'm a, I, I wasn't I, I don't know what you want me to say to this guy, <laughs> he's, he's professional. I, I mean, but I think what I'm interpreting, and correct me if I'm wrong, and you guys, everyone else can correct me if I'm wrong, 
But it sounds like you're saying, it sounds like what being said is, this guy's got it all together, he's professional, but he wants to keep running around. <laughs> tell this man to settle down. Tell these, tell these, tell these, tell these Negroes out here to, to, to settle down and, and get a wife. I'm not gonna tell them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this guy. This guy's. I mean, they're they're as old as I am. They're. I mean, they're they're professional. They know what they're doing. They've made it into certain career decisions. Um, I would suggest going back and watching my video about um, you know why should an older man should they get married? I mean, you got to you got to give this man a reason to get married. If I'm again, if I'm interpreting this right, if I'm not, then let me know and I'll I'll, I'll make I'll make the video specifically about that. But if this is what I'm hearing, you got to give that man something to want to marry. And if he's got, you know, and a guy who's 50 years old and who's professional, who's got it going on, he's got a nice house car, he can travel when he wants or or take a couple of vacations a year and he's got the money and all this, he, he, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna play the field because he's so wanted by other, by other, by other ladies. So if you want to stand out, you got to give him something, you got to give him something that everybody else isn't giving him. And it's not sex. So you got to give him something else that you got to make him see. You got, you have to make him see that he's missing out on something. You have to make him see that he's missing out on something. Absent that. And that's the problem with the open market. As I've mentioned a number of times. This is the problem with the open sexual market. You, you, the ladies have, have, de have, have deregulated the market. The brakes are off the market. And there's no reason for these. There's no reason for a man to do it. Why, why should I do it? Before they missed it, right? I got to get married because I got to have sex. When I was in the police department, right? When I was a young guy in the police department, I joined the police department in 1995. 1995, I joined the police department, right? So the old, so the, all the older guys, the captains and stuff, they were in the 50s and 60s. They were in their 50s and 60s, and they pressed on us. Listen, don't run around here. Go get yourself a wife, right? To the, to the young cops that just came on, this is what they, this is what they would say at roll calls, right? Stop running around here. Go get yourself a wife. You're going to get yourself in trouble. And they were right. <laughs> Listen, guys, guys who police officers would get in trouble off duty. They, they are not. They are genuinely not. They are generally not married. There, there is absolutely. Listen, I've talked about this. You want you want rogue males are a problem. <laughs> they are a problem. Joining gangs racist uh white supremacist groups terrorist groups in the middle east they all don't have wives so this deregulation that happened where women just want to run around and just just sleep with different dudes and stuff right the, the top chads top chads tyrones pookies and ray rays it's a problem okay so back to this so you got to give that man in his who's in his 50s something he's not getting right and again, before it was something that they were missing out on. I gotta get married in order. I gotta get married in order to have sex. That was the way that it was. They don't have to do that anymore. They don't have to. They don't have to get married to have sex anymore. The, the, the twenty and thirty year olds are throwing it at them, throwing it at them. Some of the forty to fifty year olds just throwing it at them. Just, uh, just, just here, here, take it. Here you go. No commitment. No, no, you know, maybe, maybe pay a light bill. Maybe, maybe, maybe buy me dinner. I'll give you some. It's crazy. It's, crazy it's it's crazy it's crazy why should he and i'm not saying that to, to side with them i'm saying as a legitimate question why should he you got to give him something you got to give him something you got to give him something and as long as the market is deregulated that they're messing it up for everybody you know this this idea we gotta you know everybody's their own individual and, you know we gotta you know okay you, you see what it's getting you you see what it's getting you so, so that's that. Uh, uh, this ties into that. Uh, the 50s and 60 year old women who are in shape, looking good, right? Some of them are looking. Some of y'all do look good. I mean, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna front about that. Y'all be looking good. I'm like, man, <laughs> right? Uh, but they, but they're where they look like they're in their 40s. And, uh, you know, is it over for us or is, can we get a man? And listen, I, I'm never going to say it's over, but just like I just talked about with the 50 year old guy, you got to give him a reason. And I'm going to keep it a buck with you. I'm not going to lie to you. If a 50 year old guy or a 60 year old guy, you know, they said 50 and 60 year old women, 50 or 60 year old woman, and he has a chance, and the guy's 50, let's say he's 65, right? So let's say he's 65. You got to prove to him and give him something 
that he's not going to get from a 30 year old if he's got it again he's got it going on and all, all that you got you got to give him something about that. you got to give him something and i'm talking about the guys who are together i have a screenshot on my phone and i'll send it to you. i meant to i meant to record it i don't know if i did record it and deleted it or, or whatever but um it was a it was something that came across my facebook so I so I record. I think I recorded. I think I deleted. But anyway, I have a screenshot. And she's. This is a lady telling telling women in their forties or fifties not to get married, because she's saying that you know the guys who are ready ready to settle down are often broken. They got heart disease. They got strokes. All this kind of stuff, right? So they're getting married. That she's been flying all over the place. She was flying all over the place to to um, you know, different weddings in Dubai. I don't know Dubai, Hawaii. Wherever she was going, wherever she was going, you know, Trinidad, I don't know where she was going, but wherever she was going, all her friends in her 40s and 50s were all getting married. And, you know, as soon as they get married, you know, six months later, these guys have strokes, they have heart attacks, they're dying, they're widows. I mean, it was just crazy. It was crazy. So, that, and I, I was, I made that video, I, I recorded the video to say, guys, you got to stay in shape. Uh, you got to, you got to stay in shape. There's no sense. And I agree with her. There's no sense in getting married, right? And you, and getting married in your 40s and 50s and now you need somebody to be a caretaker and you get, you're in hospice and having strokes and your man man ain't working i mean you know i mean so take care of yourself man. so to the ladies out there um again you take care of yourself you take care of yourself and um you got to give you got to prove to a man why go back and watch my video about why an older man should get married, and you got to give him something that he's not going to get. What is he missing out on? And if you think it's companionship, if you think it's sex, and listen, some guys really do want companionship. They're older, maybe they. they, they listen, I, I don't know. I mean, everybody's going to be different, but you got you got to figure it out about what this man, what this man needs. What he, what is he? You got to figure that out. What I mean, if you want a man or, or this specific man, you got to figure it out. Remember the movie, and it's going to be longer than I thought. Remember the movie, um, ah, man, it was Dentel's Equalizer 3. Equalizer 3. In the in the Manosphere Red Pill Space, this was, a, this was a classic moment. And I'm going to talk about this, or I will, by the time I release this, I don't know when I'm going to release this, but I, I'm going to talk about it, I will have talked about it in my video about ladies, it's time to talk about it. There's an issue, there's a problem, right? It's a live video I'm going to do. Or that I already did. <laughs> um, in that movie, The Equalizer Three, Denzel's character—I forget his name, whatever his name is—Robert, Robert, whatever his last name is—and he is met by this Italian woman who's obviously half black. Italian woman who's ha obviously half black, and she asks him. Who cooks for you? Listen, I don't know who wrote the movie, but my answer would have been you, you, <laughs> you. Uh, I cook for myself, but uh, we're going to work on that. And it's going to be you because you are gorgeous. Um, so listen, you got to figure out what the man wants. Particularly, you know, a, guy, a middle class guy who's got it together, professional, as these questions have been, have been asked of me, you got to give him what he wants. This is a sticking point, a sticking point that I'm going to continue to say, I'm going to continue to say, is you think, not you, but many women think that what, um, what you are attracted to is what a man is attracted to if you can figure that out if you can figure out what i'm saying as a woman in their 20s 30s 40s 50s if you can figure this what i'm saying then you you, you will have the keys to the kingdom kevin samuels talked about this you got to figure out what that man wants men are not attracted to boss chicks men are not attracted to boss chicks let this be a mantra men are not attracted to to boss chicks we don't care about your degree we don't care about your your status on your job we don't care about your businesses your entrepreneur we don't care anything about that now is that a hundred percent of men of course not so don't get in my comments some men do care about that 
Yes, you will, you will be able to find a man on this plan, on planet Earth who will say, oh man, you got a, you got a PhD, man, I'm, that's impressive. Let me take you out to dinner. I'm sure you can find that guy somewhere. But the vast majority of men, in particular to the question that was asked me before, a professional man, they do not care. That woman in the Italian descent asked Rob, uh, uh, Denzel Washington's character, Robert, in the Equalizer, she didn't ask, she didn't tell this man, I have a degree, I got this business, I got this going on, I drive this kind of car, my 401k and my portfolio are doing well. Who cooks for you? That was the question. You got to figure that out, ladies. Stop with this nonsense. We don't, we are not attracted to the same things. You may want us to be. You may look be looking for a power couple. You may be thinking this, that, and the other. We don't care. How are power couples working out in Hollywood? Angelina and, and whoever she was married to at one time, right? Uh, I forget who her husband was. Oh, yeah, Brad Pitt at one time. She was married to somebody else too, right? Brad Pitt and, and, and um, Jennifer Aniston, Aniston. How many times has Holly Berry been married, right? Right? That, that this. What are we talking about? We we. Okay, listen. I'm telling you that they that they are not attracted to that, and for the vast majority of men, in particular the ones that you want, 40s and 50s, are not looking for that. That does not make their man man stand up. It don't. You got to figure that out. You got to you got to hear that. So this idea of uh, we're gonna, you know, you, you know, what, what, what are you gonna, what are you gonna? I think it back to it. <laughs> what are you gonna offer this man who's in his fifties and sixties? What are you gonna offer him? Wow, well, we could build together. We could. We. This man has it. This man has it. He has an education. He has a house, a condo, maybe a couple of properties. Maybe he's already. I, I, I'm generally. I'm generally curious as to what you want me to say to this man i'm not we're not talking and, and we're not talking about you know he's 50s and still trying to figure things out or he's living on his mama's couch or he's you talking about you talk the question was a professional man if you want me to tell this man to get get married and you and, and if you okay so but but even if he does get want to get married why should he marry somebody who's in in their 50s and 60s like like he is well, we can have conversations. We, we can. I can be a better companion. I got world experience. He don't care. I'm telling you, he would rather take a woman who's got no life experience or lesser of life experience out. That is a fact. Listen, I know that this is harsh. I know that this is harsh. I know this. I know this is probably unpopular. But you have to. But I think that you, you have to come to a, a realization. That feminism lied to you. Put off your education. I mean, excuse me, put off marriage. Get your education. Do this, do that. And then when you're 40, 35, 40, and then now you want to try to get married. Those men generally. Are there men checking? Are there men checking for you? Yeah. I listen, I'm I'm 51. I probably would I, listen, I, I think the youngest that I would date, because I don't want kids, and I don't really want a woman with, with little kids. I think the youngest I would date is a Maybe uh, 38, 39, 40 year old, some, somewhere around that age, late 30s. Um, and her kids got to be teenagers if she has kids. That's, but that's me. I, I mean, some guys, they would just rather go overseas or just not date. Or, or, or they go overseas and they'll get somebody, you know, they get a 25 year old with no kids and just and just uh, give her give her a, what I would call a shut up kid. Okay, here's your kid, right? Give her a kid and, you know, live over there and just. Uh, so, so what, what, what? How can you compete with that? How can you compete with that? Um, if he wants to stay in the U.S., okay. Why? He, still, why would he not just get a, somebody who's a little bit more? He's got his again. This guy's professional. So he may get a girl with a, a twenty-five year old with a kid. Okay, I'll get her. Give she give me. I give her another kid. Well, you got to get. You got to give him something, and you got to be able to articulate that. You got to be able to articulate that. 
what that is and what it is that he wants. Not what you want him to want, not what society's telling you to want, not but but what the men are. I'm assuming you're asking me because you because I'm that age and because I know because I have a cohort. I, I, they don't want that. I'm not saying this to hurt anybody's feelings. I'm not saying this to 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 to. Man, I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. I'm, and I'm not saying it's over. I'm not saying you should try. I'm not telling you to lower your standards to go out to some pookie array where you just lay up with him. I'm not saying any of that. But I'm saying you got to give him, you got to be very, very thoughtful about how you can stand out from, from, from somebody else. And give this man what he wants. You got to, what is that? I'll never tell a, I'll never tell a woman that that it's over, that that they're dried up, that that, that they are so called a leftover. I, I I won't use those that type of language, and I have a video coming up where I'm going to talk about that kind of stuff. Um, but we gotta be real. We gotta be realistic about about this. Um, doesn't mean you should stop trying. Doesn't mean you should stop looking. Doesn't mean you should get off the dating apps if you're on them. Maybe you can find somebody. My, my cousin was in the 50s. He found somebody who was over 50 because he was on that silver app or something like that. Okay. All right, listen, it's it's possible. It's possible, but you, what you really have to, to, to make yourself, you have to make yourself stand out, and that's that's the issue. That's the issue. And you got to get, I've said it already. Um, okay, so the qualities in the man, this will be the last question. Qualities in a man. I would think that this is uh, fairly simple and easy. Um, what qualities would I suggest that, that somebody have in a man um, or, or want in a man? I mean, I think it would be, you know, just okay. I mean, I, I would say forget the superficial stuff. Um, you know, I, I, th I think it's okay to, to say that you want your man to be taller than you. But if you're 5'3", why are you looking over it? Why, why, why does your man got to be six feet? I mean, but this is on you. I, I don't understand that. Um, but I think you're eliminating the guys who's five, eight, five, nine, five, seven, um, and who are, you know, as long as I think, as long as you could put a three inch heel on, I think your goal ought to be a three inch heel on. And as long as you're not really, you know, looking your man in the eye, I mean, I think you should be good. So if you're five, three, you put a three inch heel and you're five, six, you, you, you still got this man beat. I mean, he's still got you beat. So, but you, so I'm saying the women are overlooking good guys when they when they do that. Okay, so height. Let's let's scratch that. I think it's okay to I think it's okay to say to a man, um, and to the five guy. Oh, let me back this up. To the five five guy over there. I mean, listen. I, I think uh, listen. You got to you got to go over the girls four ten four eleven. Or, or or you know some people don't care. I mean, I'm not telling the five 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 guys is over. I know I know a couple of guys who, who do really well. Who are five five? I know a couple of guys who do really well, who are five five. So you know, don't, don't give up hope. Um, let's see. Um, qualities are you know, it's okay for a man to want a man who's obviously doing something with his life. Um, you know, just you know, what's his relationship like with his mother? You may make sure he's you know he's he's um, you know good, kind, not not, not nice, not a pushover, but kind. Um, I think I answered this in the in the in the vetting process, but I'll, I'll br briefly recap it again. You know, just make sure he's kind. Uh, got his head on his shoulders, making good, you know good money, fairly stable in his, whatever career he is. Uh, you know, he's got a he's going somewhere in life. Um, you know, good relationship with his children. You know, isn't into swearing. You know, isn't a drunk. I don't I don't particularly like any type of substance abuse i don't like i don't like weed heads i don't like um uh drunks you got to get drunk every every weekend every time they're off or every time they come home have a beer i i, I don't i listen i'm not a man i'm not a woman so I, you know you guys got to deal with that Do you, can you deal with that I, I can't deal with that it's expensive oh, i mean i can't deal with that right i don't like i don't like smokers um smoke weed cigarettes i mean maybe once a year I, I, Actually, last time, last two times I tried to smoke a cigar, trying to hang out with the boys and stuff like that, I ended up getting nauseous. So I'm, 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 I'm good with that, <laughs> right? So cigars and I, I'm good with that, you know. So, um, 
So, uh, you know, uh, just be a just be a good guy. Just be a good guy who cares about you. Who's gonna be the type of communicator that you want, that you need? He's got his who's got his head on his shoulders. You know what he wants. Um, you know, uh, I I don't think the formal education is 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 necessary, particularly if he's got a good job. He's a truck driver, and he can have a conversation and. And, uh, you know, he's got, he's meeting all that. I don't think he needs to be formally educated. I know that a lot of women out here now want their man to be more educated than them. And I got a, I got a bachelor's degree. So my man's got to have a ba minimum bachelor's degree. Okay. But that doesn't mean he's not going to put his hands on you. I mean, <laughs> I know, I know professors at universities who are going to jail for domestic violence. Well, so what are we talking about? You know, what are we talking about? Um, so you got to make sure that, that that character matches up, that he's good, that, that he's honest, faithful, loyal, uh, a man of his word. Uh, you know, good relationship with his children, caring, giving. Does he does he mind sharing his resources with you? And uh, you know, I, I don't mean just um, uh, you, you know, you know, this whole superficial buy me buy my nails and stuff. But I uh, or pay for my nails, pay for my hair to get done as a mandatory thing. But I think I I I, I would not date a woman who said that that was this is a deal breaker for me. You got to do my nails and hair and all. That. You got to these are now my these are now your bills as my as my reward for being your your as your uh, girlfriend. We have got nothing to talk about. We don't have anything to talk about. Uh, I, I, I don't do that. And I've had ladies, and I'm gonna talk about this in the dating app, right, where they where they dating app uh, video that I'm gonna do. Um, I've had ladies say that to me, and I, I just immediately just, just, just unmatch with them. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna deal with that. If, I, if I'm gonna get your hair and nails done, it, it's gonna benefit me. Because I like it, because I want to see it. Because, you, oh, excuse me, not benefit me. <laughs> that's that's. I want to benefit the both of us. I should I should say right. I want to see it. I like a woman whose nails are done. So therefore, if I like that, I think I ought to get them done for you, right? And yeah, you know, I don't I don't mind doing that. I don't mind doing that. But when it's an obligation, no, I mean, you, know, you, know, you call me on the phone, so now my phone bill is your bill. No. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so so a guy who's caring, who's giving, uh, who's loving, who's loyal, who's, um, you know, um, and yes, it's, yes, it's, as has been pointed out in the comment section, has been pointed out in the comment section so many times, that the better a man is doing, the more options that he has, this has been said indirectly, and, and he's going to want to play around. So you got to give him a reason to stay and make sure he's faithful and all that, right? I'm not, I personally am not looking for that anymore because... I'm old. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to do that. Even if, even if I mean upfront and honest, listen, I see multiple. I don't want to see. I don't want to see multiple. People. I don't want. To, I don't want to see multiple people. It takes. It's time consuming. I got videos to make. <laughs> right. I'm teaching class. I'm gonna be about to be traveling. I, you know, it's, it cuts into my video game time. I, I, I got other things to do. I just. I just. You know. I just don't. I just don't want that. Right. I just don't want that. So. Uh, this person cannot part. Oh my God. Um, so, so those are some of the qualities. I mean, I would say watch the vetting video and, you know, just make sure he's good to be around. He's got a sense of humor. I mean, he's gonna, he's gonna make you laugh. I, I just want, you know, I read a lot of stuff about, um, about sense of humor, sense of humor, the ability to make you laugh is, is linked to intelligence, right? So, and ladies look for that. So if this guy can't make you laugh, you know, if he's not funny and he doesn't have, he's not, you know, somewhat... I, I, again, I'm going to say, be, be careful of the slick, slick talkers, right? Those people that, you know, they got the game and they, yeah, man, let me, let me, don't that, that, listen, you think the only, you think you're the only person talking like that? There's a dude, there's a dude on YouTube, I forget his name, but I was watching him just walk through Walmart, <laughs> right? He's got, he's got multiple videos of him just walking through Walmart and he's in his early twenties and he's so-called risen up these, these, these older chicks. Right? And he's getting their numbers. I don't know if he's sleeping with them. I don't, I don't know. But he's getting their numbers because they're falling for it. Because these older women, are, you know, they're just falling for it. <laughs> it's, 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 it's comical. It's comical. So, but, you know, he's, so I actually think it's kind of tacky, in all honesty. I think it's kind of tacky to be doing that um, because, um, you know, did you get the, I mean, do you make them sign waivers? I mean, I wouldn't want my, my face all over, all over YouTube 
having given some some twenty year old my number. I I, I think that that's real. I, I don't know if I, I don't know. I hope that's staged or so he's getting signed waivers or something because I, I would be upset with that. I would be upset with that. So, but anyway. So those are some of the things, right? So you got to, you know, watch out for the smooth talkers. Watch out for the guys who's always got the right thing to say. I'm telling you, that's a, I'm telling, that's a problem. It's a problem. I mean, you know, and this this whole, I'll leave it off here. I always say that. This whole bad boy thing, man, you ladies really got to figure that out, man. In particular, the black community. Yes, in particular, the black. You got to figure that out. You got to figure out your mating, your mating strategies. You gotta figure it out. I just told you about this dude who's black, who's risen up all these girls, uh, women, and they're 30, 35 plus. One was 60. All right, she looked good. I mean, listen, but you know, he's, and she gave him number. Ah, okay, here money, take my number down. You gotta figure out your mating strategy. Why are you why are you falling for that at 60? So you gotta you gotta figure out you gotta figure out this mating strategy because it, it it's not fair to yourself, right? You're you're falling for these games, you're falling for these tricks, and then your next thing you know, you're catching STDs and or I don't mean to say you 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 I don't I don't mean to do that, but um, I am saying we gotta figure out as a as as a collective these mating strategies that we have, and you have to be able to recognize the good guys, a guy who's studious in college, he might not have the mouthpiece. He might not have the game. He might not have the riz, but you can work with him about that. Listen, I'm telling you, I'm telling you that, and, and if a guy doesn't have it, I think that would be perfect. Well, not perfect, but but you can mold him. Hey, baby, this is how you talk to me, right? You can, it might take some work, but you can mold him. Guys, he's going to mature. He's going to mature. The, the, the product that you see, the product that you see, you know, some 40 year old guy who knows how to talk to a woman, he's had to practice, but, but, but it was that, and if you practice with him and talk to him, he can talk to you like that. Oh, I don't want him to go out and talk to anybody else. Well, I mean, that may be an issue. <laughs> that may be an issue, but, but you, you can mold him and make him. I mean, you know, so you got, you can't fall, but this mating strategy type of thing, you have to watch the mating strategy. This idea, we're going to pick Pookie and Ray Wave, we're going to give him a kid or two or three. Uh, with multiple baby daddies and then try to get back with the nice guy who doesn't have enough riz and, and then you know then you think the riz guy is all boring i did a video about that already already i think i did yeah i think i, I think i did about about a woman who was saying i left my husband because he was because he didn't tell me to go sit down somewhere that's what she said right she went to run the streets with her girls and go out to the club and she and you know he's, she's getting all dressed and the dude didn't stop her she wanted that but this is this is a broke Anybody who says that was a broken woman, I agree with you. This is a broken woman. We got, but we, how do we fix these broken women? Who do they stop falling for this type of thing with? How do we do that? So you, I'm telling you how to do it, right? Stop listening to guys who do that. <laughs> stop. You know, and you got to tell your daughters when they're, thir when, they're, when they're 10, when they're 9 and 10. I used to do that with my daughter. I'm like, here's how some guy's going to talk to you, this, that, and the other. Here's what he's going to say. And then I'm I remember one time I was driving. Right, I'm driving to talk to my daughter. Right, so all you people think that that, that me making recorded videos is distracted driving. <laughs> I guess technically it is, but but if, but if you're talking to somebody, it's the same thing. Right, I'm talking, I'm talking. So, <laughs> so I'm, I'm talking to my daughter. Right? You know, I'm 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 risen her, Right, I'm, this here's what God's gonna say to you. Right, she's about to go to middle school. How old she was? She, it was definitely before middle school. I was trying to get her ready. So I lean and she's like, ew, dad, ew, ew, ew. Well, well, yeah, <laughs> but this is what's going to happen. <laughs> this is what's going to happen. You got to prepare these girls when they're nine and 10. You got to prepare them. So by the time they're 14 and 15, they start to develop. These punks out here don't, have, don't stand a chance because you prepared them. It's crazy. It's crazy. Have him watch that Riz video, right? That's what the guy's gonna say. <laughs> Listen, the dude's good. He's getting the numbers. I mean, he's showing us the ones he get. I don't know how many rejections he gets, right? Everybody gets rejected, right? I don't care how many. You think this guy's really good? He, he probably approached out of the, you know, if he does a video where he does five women, he, he probably approached fifty. You know, he, you know, even the best pickup artists have a ten percent rate. They say, 
I, I can't find that number. I've heard it said. I don't know. I don't know how they verify that, but whatever. But anyway, so th so this is really going on for quite some time. Um, so you got to prepare these girls for, the, for for this, right? So I hope I answer these questions, okay, about uh, I think men want respect uh, for the ladies who are in their 40s, 50s, and 60s. Listen, you got to give the men with something that they want. Figure out what they want. Go watch the movie, The, the Equalizer. Or if, I, if I didn't play the trailer or play that clip, I'll try to find a clip and I'll try to put it on here. Um, you got to watch that. And just give the men what they want. Forget this boss chick energy, masculine energy stuff. We're repulsed by it. Um, the fifty-year-old professional man. What am I going to tell this dude? Get married? I mean, he's got the world. He's he's a, a fifty-year-old ma married man with no kids. Has the world by the by the cojones. Um, what are you going? What are you going to do to convince this man? What are you going to? What are you going to do to convince this man that you're his best? That you're his best option, or that marrying you and settling settling down is the best option? What are you going? What are you going to do about that? And, and, and shaming tactics, oh, you still want to run around? You ain't grown out of that yet? Why should he? Why should he? He's getting the cow for free. Why? Tell me why he should. T tell In the comments section, tell me why he should without using shaming language. Sign language. Shame, insults, guilt, and the need to be right. Without using that type of language, tell me why this man, as a 50-year-old man, who, who can travel and go to different different countries, who can go across, who, who can go into a, a Walmart, get get a girl who's at the register, uh, who's in her 20s or 30s, uh, maybe with a kid, and just set her up and just and just have a good time. Tell me why you're tell me why you are a better option. And I'm not saying that pejoratively. I'm not saying that as a negative. I'm telling I'm asking a legitimate question. Tell me why you're a better option. Tell me why you're the best option. Seriously. Tell me why you're the best option. The qualities you, uh, you should look for in a man are a man who is stable, who's concerned about his life, his, his appearance, who's exercising, who's uh, got his, his head together, who's uh, emotionally mature, who's gone to therapy, done the work, uh, has a job, stable, uh, you know, he knows how to take care of his bills, responsibilities, takes care of his parents. Um, he who does all that type of thing, right? Forget about the tall, dark, handsome and stuff. Forget about this type. I think that was another question. A type, this, this whole type thing. I, I like him green eyed and, and I, I got to have a man who's green eyed and six, two and okay. 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 Yeah, that was definitely another question, right? You got to go go with who loves you and all that, right? So I'll answer that question too. Forget about this type stuff. Forget about this type stuff. Go where you're appreciated. Go where somebody loves you, who's going to treat you right, who's going to... Again, this mating strategy thing that we have, we have to solve this problem. We have to solve this problem. Man, I got to have somebody who's got curly hair and and, and, and uh, you know, he's got to have, you know, he got to make sure he's, his hairline isn't, isn't receding. Okay. That you get this guy and everybody else wants him. And not, you know, now you can't figure out why you're sleeping around. You can't figure you're, you're stumped. All right, this is long enough. I got to edit this up. <laughs> Hit me in the comment section. Let's keep the conversation comment going um i'm not trying to um diminish anyone or hurt anyone's feelings i'm really not i'm trying to to get you to see what's what's going on and um much love and peace